You've heard of Shakari Richardson, right? The sprinter with fire in her hair and speed in her veins. But here's the thing. Her greatness didn't start on the track. It started in the moments where everything was stacked against her. Raised by her grandmother in a world that didn't expect her to make it, Shakari wasn't just running against her competition. She was running against the odds every single day. From the streets of Dallas to the world stage, people told her what she couldn't do, and she spent her childhood proving them wrong. A high schooler with hair as vibrant as her personality, nails sharp enough to slice through the wind, and a stride that felt less like running and more like flying. She wasn't just fast, she was a force you couldn't ignore. By the time she hit high school, Shakari was dominating the national championships, leaving her competition in the dust. People couldn't help but ask, who is this girl? That's when the world got its first taste of the whirlwind that is Shakari Richardson, the US Olympic trials in 2021. This was the moment. Shakari knew it, the world knew it. Her whole future came down to this race. The stadium buzzed, but the weight on Shakari's shoulders was heavier than anyone knew. One race, one chance. And there she was, hair blazing like fire, the whole world watching, expecting her to break. But she didn't break. When the gun went off, Shakari exploded out of the blocks. She didn't just run, she owned the track. 10.86 seconds. That's all it took to rewrite her story. She crossed the finish line, and the world stood still. The moment she crossed the finish line, it wasn't the cameras or the cheers she ran to. It was her grandmother. Through tears and triumph, she embraced the woman who raised her, a silent acknowledgement that every struggle, every fight, had been worth it. But the world was about to see a side of Shaakari they never expected. The story wasn't over, it was just getting started. In the next chapter, it would shock the world. Everything was falling into place. Shaakari Richardson was ready for the Olympics, poised to become a household name. But then, just as fast as she rose to fame, the ground shifted beneath her feet. The world was about to be blindsided. Just weeks after her breathtaking victory at the Olympic trials, news broke that shook the entire sports world. Shakari Richardson tested positive for marijuana, and as a result, she would be suspended, disqualified from competing in the Tokyo Olympics. The fallout was swift, and the reactions were brutal. Critics were quick to pounce, saying, how could she throw it all away? It was a media frenzy. Headlines weren't just about her performance anymore. They were dissecting her character, her decisions, her future. But what most people didn't know was that Shakari was carrying a heavy burden during that time. Just a week before her Olympic trials victory, she learned that her biological mother had passed away. Behind every win, there was a heartbreak the world couldn't see. Her mother was gone. Shakari was running, not just for herself, but for the woman she'd never be able to share her victory with. Grieving, overwhelmed, and searching for a way to cope with the pain, Shakari made a choice. A mistake, yes, but one she didn't run from. In an interview after the suspension was announced, she stood tall. I'm not making an excuse or looking for any empathy. Dealing with the relationship I had with my mother, it definitely was a very heavy topic. Her words weren't about deflecting blame. She faced the consequences head on, reminding the world, I'm human, I just happen to run a little faster. Her Olympic dream was shattered, for now. But here's the thing about Shakari. She's built for the comeback. She didn't shrink away from the spotlight. She didn't let the criticism crush her spirit. Instead, she took this setback as fuel. While the world debated whether her career was over, Shakori had her eyes locked on one thing. Her return to the track. The comeback was on. Shakori Richardson's next big test, the Prefontaine Classic, a race that would serve as her grand return to the world stage. This wasn't just a race, it was her chance to silence every critic, to show the world that one mistake wouldn't define her career. And as Shakari stepped onto the track, the weight of a nation's expectations hung in the air. This was no ordinary race. The media was watching. The fans were watching. And every athlete on that track knew Shakari wasn't just running to win. She was running to reclaim her legacy. But as the gun went off and the race unfolded, 
things didn't go as planned. Shakari finished last. For most athletes, that would have been the end of the story, a crushing defeat after so much anticipation. But Shakari Richardson? She's not just any athlete. When the cameras zoomed in, waiting to see if she'd break, she didn't flinch. Instead, she stood in front of the microphones, defiant as ever. It's one race, I'm not done, she declared. You know what I'm capable of. She didn't make excuses, she didn't crumble. What the world saw that day wasn't defeat, it was resilience. And in that moment, Shakori Richardson proved that being a legend isn't about winning every race. It's about standing tall when the world expects you to fall. That day, the headlines might have focused on the loss, but Shakori's message was clear. This was only the beginning. She was just getting started. The critics might have had their say, but her story wasn't over. In the months that followed, she kept training, kept pushing, refusing to let that race define her. Because Shakari Richardson wasn't just racing for medals anymore. She was racing to define her legacy. And trust me, the world wasn't ready for what was coming next. Shakari Richardson isn't just fast, she's iconic. And that's one of the reasons she stands out from every other sprinter who's come before her. For Shakari, it's not just about crossing the finish line first, it's about making a statement. Whether she's on the track or off it. Her orange hair wasn't just a fashion choice, it was a symbol of everything she stood for. Boldness, defiance, and freedom. Those nails, sharp and bright, were a reflection of her edge. Unapologetic and fierce. And her confidence? It radiated through every interview, every victory, and every setback. For Shakari, her look was more than an accessory. It was a message. I'm going to be myself, no matter what. She wasn't just known for her speed, but for her style. And the world took notice. Shakari's bold, fearless fashion wasn't just about standing out, it was about standing up. She became a symbol of authenticity in a world where athletes are often expected to conform to strict norms. For young girls, especially young black women, Shakari became a living example of what it meant to break the mold. She was proof that you didn't have to fit into anyone else's box to be a champion. You could win on your own terms. Every race became her runway, every interview a platform, for her to assert her individuality. And even when the media criticized her for being too flashy or too much, she never dialed it down. She wore her identity like armor. In a world that often tries to smooth out the rough edges, Shakari embraced hers. Her unapologetic self-expression wasn't just about style, it was about power. She gave people permission to be unapologetically themselves, and in that, she became more than just a track star. She became a role model. Her influence extended beyond the track into the world of fashion, pop culture, and identity, proving that being true to yourself is the ultimate victory. It's easy to think of legends as something from the past, athletes whose stories are already written, wrapped up neatly in the pages of history. But Shakari Richardson's legacy? It's still unfolding. The beauty of Shakari's journey is that she's nowhere near finished. At just 23 years old, she has already proven that she's a force to be reckoned with. But her story is far from over. In fact, the most exciting part about Shakari is that her greatest moments may still be ahead of her. The question isn't whether Shakari will bounce back, it's how far she'll go. With her eyes set on global championships, world records, and cultural change, the world still hasn't seen what she's truly capable of. What makes her a legend isn't just her ability to win races. It's the impact she's making on the world around her. She's inspiring a new generation of athletes to own their narratives, to embrace their true selves, and to stand tall in the face of adversity. And she's doing it in real time, while the world watches. When Shakari returned to the track after her suspension, the spotlight wasn't just on her performance, it was on her resilience. She showed the world that it's not the fall that defines you, it's how you get back up. And Shakari got back up with a fire in her eyes and a determination to write her own future. Her story continues to inspire athletes, young and old, to break boundaries, 
push past limits, and never let anyone else dictate their worth. And while she's still racking up wins and setting her sights on even bigger goals, the truth is, Shikari's influence has already transcended the track. She's become a voice in the conversation about identity, personal freedom, and what it means to be a modern athlete. Her legacy isn't just being written, it's a revolution in motion. As she continues to blaze new trails, the world will be watching, waiting to see how far Shakari Richardson will go next.